Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Destiny 2 season of the Witch video. Well, we're back at it again with a brand new quest line called the Bladed Path. 51 steps. This time, steps 1 through 4. This is the full step guide. Let's go. Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. We got a quest to complete. The Bladed Path 51 steps, but only 4 for this week. And we first need to complete Toil and Trouble, our first initial quest line. You want a full step-by-step -step guide? Check out that video right there to get you started. Now that you got that done, the Bladed Path, step number one, we need to complete the mission called Invoke. You can find this mission from the helm. Open up your helm and select the mission called Invoke. Inside of this mission, we're going to be doing and acquiring all the knowledge that we have so far and use it inside of this mission. It's rather lengthy, but it is a lot of fun. So, first thing first, we need to complete the summoning. Now, we need to speak with Erish Morn after we rave around that magical staff. After we speak with Erish Morn, we're going to have to harvest and deposit these things called burdens of tribute. Three of them. Now, we're going to get these burdens of tribute by taking out these lovely hive witches. They'll drop the tribute, head over to the spire that is red and highlight it, and there you will deposit them. After that, it'll drop down the shield to the boss, wash, rinse, repeat, and do this until you're able to take out the boss. That is how you're gonna get past the very first step. Now, after you finish that, we're gonna be meeting up with Eris Morn yet again to complete some more of these summoning rituals. Remember, it is quite lengthy, but all of the different things that we've learned so far is gonna be used inside of this mission. So, first things first, we need to destroy these tenonary mines. So we do that by just taking them out. They're gonna get an overshield. We're gonna have two little squares. Take out the squares that are highlighted to take off the overshield, and then wash rinse repeat to take them out. Pretty easy, three of them to take out. After you finish doing that, we're back at it again with Eris Moore. Speak with her yet again, and finally, we're at the final boss. And this is how it's gonna go down. First, we're gonna have this arc a little terminals that we have to strike with our melee we did this in our first initial quest so we're going to strike them like so and now we have six of these arc singers that we need to kind of chain it is a 15 second countdown timer in between and there is a nice little pathway that you can take to hit all six of them right in a row so you shouldn't have any problem hitting all six of them and that's why i'm showing you all six of these after you hit all six you will then be able to come over here and invoke by waving that magical wand again and now you can take out the boss. Wash, rinse, repeat until you take out the boss. After that, the quest is completed and now we need to head back into the helm and we are going to do one more thing. That is speak with our buddy, my twin, <laughs> Icor Ray at the Hollow Projector. After you finish speaking with Icor Ray, the quest, the bladed path, will be updated. And a new step is here. You just need to turn around and listen in on the radio right here at the helm. So turn around and listen into the helm. And those are the four steps that we have to do. Remember, we have a total of 51 that we need to complete. We have ourselves some nice level rewards, some nice engrams as well. And now we can start and get ready for the rest of this amazing quest line that will take place during season 21. Check back next week for more in this quest line. But for right now, that's pretty much going to for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpool Game for a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.